Brother Dana, Brother Maya, delivers you best worst case scenario. blind mice and our grandpa was not blind so you can get out of here with that. i think it's the stature of the mice the way they walk around with dude their canes. you can try to explain it any way you want but i just i just did magic i did magic yeah he read my mind pretty much i'm a wizard harry he's like 11 from stranger things <laughs> he's all bald <laughs> and skinny more like an 11 year old harry potter is what i am so you live in a closet? <laughs> Pretty much, man. It, it, it feels <laughs> like it here. It's a big closet. It is. On top of this mountain. Yeah. Yeah, we live on a mountain. It's like a... It's like... It's almost like Hogwarts. Um, like, we got our own academy. We got we got teachers. We got McGonagall's. <laughs> McGonagall's? <laughs> Yeah. You know, with how much you know about Harry Potter, I would almost believe like <laughs> that's what you thought her name was. If I was <laughs> if I was telling someone in like the Middle East about Harry Potter who never heard of it, they'd be like, Oh wow, who's McGonagall's? What does she teach? Uh she teaches sex ed. <laughs> <laughs> magical sex ed. Yeah. And it is magical. How to fuck with <laughs> magic. <laughs> How to use your wand. How to use your wand for beginners. <laughs> for pleasure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like... It sounds like we're doing an advertisement for uh, some sex toys right now. Yeah. I hear they're good. You're right. It is like Hogwarts here. And that is a place I would love to go to. Like, oh, not the uh, the expecto weird kinky one. Orgasmo. <laughs> expect it. You can't expect it, man. Then it never comes. But uh, you can uh, with the magic wand. <laughs> God damn, I can't even remember what I said. Boom. <laughs> expecto <laughs> Patronum. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but I would love to go to Hogwarts because it seems. So amazing, and... I don't know, they seem pretty woke there. <laughs> and when I turned 11, though, <laughs> I was I was genuinely uh, a little upset that I didn't get a letter. When you turned 11 years I old? I didn't receive a letter. So you were... You were you were a full believer in Harry Potter. I was a believer to my core, man. <sighs> yeah, so you, you were trying to like weasel your way ronald weasel your way into harry potter into hogwarts i was like maybe i can just like so did you run at a brick wall with a shopping cart from winco i did what happened i hit it and <laughs> and i didn't go through it man you know i, I didn't go through you know i saw you run at a brick wall when you were younger that was when i thought i was going to hogwarts man <laughs> yeah i guess you, so. you I saw me you... trying to get to platform nine and three I, quarters i think you were like nine years old <laughs> you just ran full fucking speed into a brick wall yeah that was cool it was to get to hogwarts yeah <laughs> that must have been really disappointing it was it's like oh no it's not that Harry Potter doesn't exist. It's that the the little fucking tunnel closed for me. The little portal <laughs> closed. What? The what little, are you talking about? The little portal closed for me to get into the nine and three quarters. It's fucking Dobie. He closed the portal. You know about that, right? Uh, so vaguely. I, re I remember vaguely what happened with that. So Dobie, or <laughs> it's Dobby, but I prefer Dobie, man. Dobie sounds better. Dobby. He, he doesn't want Harry Potter to get to Hogwarts because he knows the Chamber of Secrets Harry is going to be opened that year. So what does he do? He tries everything in his power to prevent Harry Potter from getting to Hogwarts, yeah. including closing the portal to get to nine and three quarters. And the thing is, is what, what is the Do thing? <laughs> Dobby, what is his race? <laughs> what is, what is his race? Uh, he is an elf. And a house, a house elf, elf. A house which elf. are pretty much the Little slaves goblins. of the wizarding world. The thing about the thing I was gonna say to your thing was that uh, house elves have a lot of fucking power, 
And you'll find that out if you watch the Harry Dude. Potter series. You're like, oh my god, Dobby's like a fucking Jedi. He is. But the the funny thing is they can't use it like without uh, discretion. So yeah, they have so much fucking power. Like in Harry Potter, he like blasts Malfoy, like Malfoy's dad, yeah. into like a like, yeah, like fucking, <laughs> he just fucking rails him. <laughs> yeah yeah he snaps his fingers and he just fucking flies hey magic and that's him. some massive power but the yeah. thing is is doby dobby he can't use it unless dobby. he feels like it's gonna help his master or his whoever he wants it's like but... if you're harry potter it's dobby and if you're a malfoy it's dobby dobby <laughs> dobby you piece of shit you're fucking dobby yeah no, it's sad. It's sad how they treat him, man. And Hermione, she makes a whole organization to protect the house elves. Really? But you know what's funny? The house elves don't wanna like be, Hermione. They want to be treated that way. They oh. like it. They like being treated like <laughs> shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but they like being treated. Sixteen-hour work day. <laughs> <laughs> they like they like serving <laughs> the wizards because they think that that's their duty and that actually gives their life purpose and yeah. makes them happy. Opa Gangnam Style. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, oh, well that's okay Opa because Pata style. because no one's listening to us from North Korea. Yeah, I'm pretty know. sure they have that on lockdown. Opa but... Doba, do, do, <laughs> Opa Dobi style. <laughs> Dana's still working on his Korean. Anyways, um, Harry Potter. How did he come to be? Why did why did he survive and his parents didn't? Oh my gosh, that is is that, that a good question? That's such a good question, Dana. Because that's like the whole premise of the whole fucking exactly. Series. That is the question that J.K. Rowling puts down. And I think I can answer it for book. you. Sorry. I'd like to, <laughs> I'd like to hear that. <laughs> I think I think it's love. <laughs> love saves Harry Potter, right? God damn, you're right for once. Yeah. No yeah. way. You are. Because, oh my God. because this is how it works. Magic in Harry Potter, <laughs> it doesn't just follow uh, the rules laid down in, in classical like wizarding schools and what they teach them. Like there's, Kadabba. there's also deeper magic. There's more ancient kinds of magic. Like Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Shut up. Uh, shut up. <laughs> keep fucking talking. So, <laughs> shut up and keep fucking talking. Dana, 2023. Shut up. Shut up. Um, keep fucking. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. I'm so derailed, man. Uh, Leviosa. I no, know Leviosa. No, that's not it. No. The, we so talking... the love magic. <laughs> it's not love magic in that way. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise it would be another Bates Motel Chicka episode. Wow. And we, we can't go back wow. there. Yeah, some um, love magic, man. That sounds like a fucking playlist you play on Spotify while you're banging. It, it's it's one love of my playlists. Magic. It's my favorite one. Um, oh, chicka bow wow. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so his his mom pretty much uh, <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. I'm trying. Open your ears. My ears are. His open. mom dies for Harry Potter when Voldemort comes there to kill them. His mom does. His mom dies. For in front of him, him. for him, she, like she she jumps in front of as the, as like a sacrifice to the, like prevent the the uh the, like the spell from hitting Harry Potter, exactly. Okay. And what that did was that created this uh, magic protection around Harry Potter that actually lasts up until he's seventeen. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> so, at what point in the movies does he become seventeen? Is it the prison? Is it like the goblet of? Fire? Uh, it's like the last movie. No way. Yeah, because because this is the cool I thing he about turned it. seventeen in like Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Maybe for real, <laughs> <laughs> but but he's supposed to be twelve in that. I think but, he is twelve <laughs> in real life too. Sorry, but but that's interesting. You say that because yeah, so in the last movie, that's when the spell so... breaks, and that's why they have to leave. Is because all of a sudden. As soon as he turns 17? Yeah. That's a weird number. Well, in the wizarding world... It's like, Voldemort's got to get you beef before you can fuck. 
you can't you can't experience it. in the wizarding world though you turn or you become an adult at 17 because wizards are more badass than us and they don't they become an adult Wait, earlier they become so they're like a year ahead of us yeah that's all <laughs> <laughs> Wizards are just only a year ahead of humans. Yeah, you would expect it wow. to be more. Wow. Okay. Yeah, and they can also wow. drink at thirteen. That's a real buzzkill. And smoke at twelve. I was hoping. Yeah, that just sounds <laughs> like uh, UK, real life. Yeah. So, so that's love magic, yeah. not the weird kind. But that makes me want to talk about um, what is it? Kill the Roy Lockhart. Oh my gosh, that might be my favorite character. I think it is. <laughs> I think it is my Write favorite. Write that down for me. <laughs> I know. Write that down for me. He's just you, so smug. I, yeah, he's just uh, fucking a hundred and fifty percent confident in everything. And a hundred and fifty percent fraud, too, in the in the story. Just like all insurance companies. <laughs> so Harry Potter's mom jumps in front of him to save him, and it creates like this weird like magic and tunnel and time that oh, forever yeah. protects Sorry. him until he's so let me until he's 17 thought. like those are some weird D D let me fucking roll <laughs> let me finish that thought though so she makes this protection around him and then when voldemort actually gets there to fuck him up uh he <laughs> casts the spell at him but because of the protection it actually rebounds his all dad? around the room his dad <clears throat> huh his dad or, no, you're talking about his mom still. Yeah, his dad died too, but apparently his love isn't powerful enough. I don't know. Some bullshit. Uh, that sounds pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a dad thing. <laughs> Distant fathers. Uh, so th- Voldemort casts a spell at Harry Potter, hits his mom at D-Flex, and hits fucking... No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. But let me let me correct you. So he kills his mom who sacrifices herself once she dies inadvertently <clears throat> yeah once she dies she didn't realize she was gonna die <laughs> the protection goes to harry and then when Ish. voldemort is looking down at baby harry in his crib he, ca- <laughs> he casts the spell against him i just picture like kung fu uh, <laughs> Ka- uh kung I pao entered the fist <laughs> where where he casts a spell down at harry potter and he dodges it and yeah. then he just starts running on the walls and starts fighting and then Voldemort. he starts peeing on him yeah he starts fighting him hand to hand combat <laughs> <laughs> the Voldemort oh can't my take gosh. the baby <clears throat> kung Kung Pao entered the fist is maybe my favorite movie. He's just like fucking, of all time. He's just fucking fighting Voldemort hand to hand combat, and then Harry, Hagrid comes along, and little baby Harry, naked little baby Harry, jumps into the front of Hagrid's hair. <laughs> and they, they Harley, fucking and they skeet, fucking skeet out fly of there. off into the sky. Yeah, yeah. So that would be way better. I'd man. love to see that. Holy shit! So yeah, so he casts the spell at Harry. It rebounds at that point and then hits him. So really, it's Voldemort him. committed suicide in a way. Wow. He wasn't. He didn't see that coming, huh? No. And that wasn't even like a like a known uh, spell or knowledge of back in the day, right? That well, that could happen. Well, uh, Dumbledore knows about it because he's he knows about everything. Where love can be like a protection, spell. right? But Voldemort, in his arrogance of being an evil wizard and thinking he's the biggest, bit, <laughs> goddamn, the, the biggest bitest. baddest fool, <laughs> he bids all the time. He Out auctions there. stuff. <laughs> Oh, can I get a 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 five five thousand dollars for the number two thousand, y'all. Wow, you know the name of the brooms. That actually surprises me, man. Because uh, I always think of you as a, as a muggle get a, get a, get a, when it comes to the when it comes to the Harry I'm Potter sorry, world. I'm sorry, Middle Eastern. Sorry. Yeah. Because <laughs> most of the stuff you don't know that much about. I don't know shit about Harry Potter. Every time you say something accurate about Harry Potter, it's like me like acknowledging like AI intelligence, and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> the program has become conscious. Yeah, I've watched <laughs> fucking Harry Potter movies, damn it. I retain information. I know, but you haven't read the books, and I feel like the books are where the meat's at. It's where all the meat's at. <sighs> okay. Tons of meat. Okay, okay. You got the best fucking cut. Brag about it. Tell me more about your meat. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll tell everyone. About your hairy meat. <laughs> about my hairy meat. Uh... So, <laughs> yeah, so it kills, Voldemort dies, 
Or, no, he doesn't die. Man. Voldemort casts a spell. It hits Obviously him. Obviously, he doesn't die. But the, reason, the whole series the, is The reason why he life. doesn't die is because he's made seven Horcruxes. Yeah, and J.K. Rowling has made seven Harry Potter books. <laughs> right. It's the same thing. But do you know what a Horcrux is? Uh, is it a is it a hooker that uses crutches? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, it's not that. <clears throat> not even close. Horcrux. But man, I hope that doesn't exist. But I feel like it does. Of course it does. Just think of a fucking dive bar in the fucking Ireland. You know, there's a Horcrux there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so Horcrux is a bad spell, right? It's like a curse. Uh, sort of. It's, it's like a bad omen. So in in the it's Harry like Potter curse. universe, it's a curse. Uh, when you kill someone, if you when, sleep you, with the when you when you sleep with the no, when you kill someone, when you commit murder against a person, what it actually does is it splits your soul. Mm. Um, it damages your soul. So is it, what I should say. It damages, it damages your soul, which when is you kill believable. somebody mm-hmm. as a wizard or as anything i mean maybe anything but okay but in the wizarding world it it, splits your soul it well it damages your soul damages so what happens if you like like is there a limit to how much you can damage your soul as Um, a wizard you become voldemort yeah pretty much so so this is the way it works you damage your soul when you kill someone and there are some really dark magic that some people know about there is some really dark magic <laughs> thank you grammar police you want to arrest me <laughs> i do man uh so the, the, there's some dark magic out there the English that allows you to when you kill someone you can take advantage of your soul being ripped and you can <laughs> actually take that torn piece and put it into an object Mm, and here's where it gets interesting so it's about the ripping and the tearing it is after you do that (laughs) the interesting thing is the object that you actually so oh man i have so many harry potter ideas so you basically put your like little shattered soul pieces into physical objects is that what you're trying to say kind of it almost though it it becomes the physical object so so i could become a pencil Right. So in in your regular in a regular human who and hasn't I could committed, write off everybody. <laughs> in a regular human who hasn't committed murder, their soul is untarnished and while their body can be destroyed, their soul remains uh free. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've said that before. My soul remains free. <laughs> my body might be shackled, but my mind wanders free. Yeah. So, but when you make a horcrux, what it does is it actually puts your soul into the object, which means that if the object is damaged, then the soul that's in that is damaged. Okay, so, it, so what if you put yourself in like a roll of toilet paper? Gonna have some shitty soul, man. I don't know. You, what, that would pretty much mean that you would, your that part of your soul would die instantly. In the bout of a day. <laughs> no, no, because here's the thing. Only very powerful only if they recycle weapons. You. <laughs> only very powerful weapons can damage a horcrux. So like if you put your soul in a pencil, if I tried to break that pencil, if I just tried to like snap it over my knee, yeah. I'd probably break my knee. Because No way. Because it's a magical item that contains your soul. Okay, so it's extra strong. It's extra strong. Okay. That's a pencil and, you want to have. And how many horcruxes, how many objects does Voldemort put himself in? Seven, which That's, is a special number. It is, you know. It's in the ring. Seven days. Yeah. But yeah, the horcrux thing is interesting. So is did Voldemort put himself inside of that diary? He did. That is a horcrux, right? One of seven? Yes. Oh my god. That's correct. What are the other six? Oh my gosh. Now you're really testing my Harry Potter knowledge. Yeah, come on. You're right. a little fucking wizard. So I'll, I'll name him off. You're a Harry wizard. So he's got the diary. You got more hair than me. <laughs> he's got the diary. So he's got the signet ring. He's got the diary. He's got um, Rowena Ravenclaw's cup, her chalice. He's got uh, 
God damn it. You lost me at, uh, I think you lost me at the diary. <laughs> diary, Slytherin's ring, the signet ring. He's got Rowena Ravenclaw's chalice. He's got, uh, <clears throat> he's got, or, Malfoy's, sorry, he's sorry. Got... <laughs> it's not Rowena Ravenclaw's chalice. It's, it's Helga Hufflepuff's chalice. Jeez. He's man. got, he's got Draco Malfoy. I'm ashamed. He's got Draco I'm Malfoy's. I'm ashamed. Huh? He's got Draco Malfoy's underwear. No, <laughs> he doesn't want to be up in there. I thought he does. No. So let's let's take it from the top. Diary, signet ring, Helga Hufflepuff's chalice, <laughs> Drake Rowena, <laughs> Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem, which Ro- is which is like a crown. Rowena, <laughs> Rowena Ravenclaw. Okay, that's which, four. Um, he's got four there. You got three to go. And then he has got the locket. That's uh, five. Slytherin's locket. Uh, a locket in my pocket. <laughs> he's got a locket. That's five. Two to go. He's got. You can do it. Um, come on, stress fuck. out, brain. Oh, you're done. You're done. Uh, you got wait, ten wait, seconds. Wait. Just, just give me, give me one sec. This is like Harry Potter Ninja Warrior. He can't. He can't just. He, he's almost through the obstacle course, but he he can't do, quite do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to dog. I'm gonna have to get with the show. <laughs> Harry Potter Ninja Warrior is gone. He's got ten. He's got five seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god! Four, three, two. Draco Malfoy's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I failed you, man. Okay, but okay, but we'll we'll come back to you. It said because... way more than I know because all I knew from the Horcrux from the fucking movies was that he was in the diary. Yeah. That's all I can remember, you know, cause, cause I watched several times the Harry Potter movies, like from one to four or five. Mm-hmm. And then like the last two or three movies, cause they made the last movie two parts. Yeah. I, I only saw once. So the last three or four movies of Harry Potter, I don't remember at all. Mm. And I feel like the Horcruxes are kind of revealed in there. Right. In the last two actually. Yeah. And I don't remember. Or wait, no, no, that's a lie. They're revealed in the six as well. So the last three. Yeah, there we go. That's why I don't know shit. Oh my God. You just gave me another one. Wait, did you? Through the shit? The ring. No, I no. said the ring. Damn it. It's because I have it. I can't I'm... admit defeat, man. It's uh, like, I feel like I've got amnesia. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah, so he's got to kill the Horcruxes. Harry's got to kill. He's got to kill the Horcruxes. Kill again. <laughs> Before I kill him, again. God, yeah, like the Grinch. <laughs> but <Stop laughs> he's got to kill the seven Horcruxes and uh, those poor whores. <laughs> those poor whores on crutches. I know. Gosh, leave, leave the they whores. don't got it bad enough. Harry Potter's got to kill him. Leave Brittany alone. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave her alone. That's sad. For who? The. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were talking about Voldemort, man. He was a bad dude. Well, he sounds like it. So he I want to know. I want to know more. He killed his dad. Voldemort. Yeah. Was that his first kill? Yes. So after he killed his dad, what? Where's his mom at? Did Voldemort have a mom? Yeah. Or was it just two dudes? She was actually. Uh, <laughs> she was actually a wizard. His dad was this really attractive Muggle. And his mom uh, either bewitched him or gave him a potion and made him fall in love with her. But they had Tom Riddle, which was Voldemort, and then she stopped giving him the potion or whatever it was. And then he was like, holy shit. You're fuck ugly. <laughs> and he left. He dipped. The dad. Yeah. And then Tom Hiddleston kills his dad? Tom Riddle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> did I say Tom Hiddleston? You did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tom Riddle. Fucking killed his muggle dad just because he looked like Jude Law. Well, not just that. It's like, fuck he, you, he, he also like you. hated that he came from a muggle too. Oh my god! So, so did his mom like that he killed? The no, dad? his mom died. She was heartbroken after Tom Riddle like came to his senses and was like, "I'm out of." Wait, you mean not, not Tom Riddle, her husband? Huh? Her husband? What? You said that Tom. Uh, a fucking riddle's mother came to her senses after her husband came to her sen- his senses. Er, man, right? I'm confused right now. So Tom Riddle's mom bewitched it. his dad, who was also named Tom I know Riddle. That. 
we know his dad was named Tom Riddle. Exactly. <laughs> no way. Yeah. He was oh, Tom God. Riddle Jr., I think. God damn this fucking story. Tom, Fuck you, JK. I think it was Tom Riddle. Fuck you. Man, I might be making it up, but I might be Scooby doing it. But, yeah. Wait, so her mom. His, his mom. His dad bailed after the love spell broke. Right. And then his mom committed suicide because of it. She didn't commit suicide. She she stopped eating and died of, like, heartbreak. She stopped eating and died of starvation. <laughs> or heartbreak. Man, that's sad. And then at, did 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 Tom Hiddleston kill his dad? Tom before? Riddle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like we might title this episode Tom Hiddleston. Just, Fuck you. Just to be funny. You know, Tom Hiddleston would have made a fucking great Voldemort. Think about it. I can picture him without a nose, yeah. No, like, picture, like, because Tom Hiddleston's a great Loki. He's so fucking sly and fucking cunning. Mm -hmm. Imagine him as Voldemort. Like, he'd be so... I don't know. You might like him too much, and you might be like, you know what? Fuck this Harry Potter guy. That's what I mean. Like, (laughs) it would have made the dynamic, like, way more confusing and cool. Yeah. Because you'd be, like, kind of like, you'd be in love with the fucking villain. Yeah. It'd be like really weird. Like he's bad, but I kind of like I him. I like this, I Tom like this bad he's, guy. He's, he's, like, he's evil, but he's got manners. <laughs> <laughs> like, but so like Tom Hiddleston or uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fucking A. Tom Riddle, he killed his dad yeah. after or before his dad woke up out of the spell. Uh, after so his he killed his dad around when he was 16 years old he he went home for the summer and then decided to find his heritage because he thought that his heritage would be amazing okay and then after he killed his dad did his did the mom kill his mom was dead like before so this is the thing his dad i don't know why i care so much about this but it's it's so emotionally provocative it's so like a motel babe. <laughs> his dad dipped right after tom riddle was conceived right yeah his mom it's like i can't had him child i work his at mom, walmart his mom had him but <clears throat> she was so sad about tom uh about his dad <laughs> i know it's confusing his dad leaving that she kind this of died dad's episode. That she died <laughs> this is the dad this goes out to all the dads God damn. <laughs> daddy, I'm so confused right daddy now. wasn't there so to confused. change my underwear <laughs> i don't know God damn it. but uh <laughs> anyways she died and i think before she died she took tom her son <laughs> she took her son tom to an orphanage she and that's no, that's where uh dumbledore finds him is at the dumbledore. orphanage yeah that's so dumbledore finds uh tom hiddleston at an orphanage tom because, riddle tom riddle at an orphanage let's, because let's so, 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 so. <laughs> she finds tom riddle at an orphanage because tom riddle's mother dropped him off there and then tom riddle's mom stops eating and dies. And dies. Oh my god, that's so fucking sad, man. How old was Tom Riddle when Hey, he... let's let's uh <laughs> negotiate and say Tom Riddleston. How about that? Does that like, make you happy? I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Riddleston. Yeah, let's go with Tom Riddleston. How old was he when his mom died? Do you know that? He was a baby. Like fucking one? Yeah, probably. God. And then that created an evil baby. Yeah, because he didn't like, have no mama and no papa. So, wait, who adopted him? The who, orphanage. <laughs> I know that, but who, like, who the fuck raised him? <clears throat> who turned him into a demon? Was it Dumbledore? Probably nuns. Wow. No, he was he was evil. This guy, this guy. was evil from his birth, man. From was a, he? an early age, he was, like, torturing the other kids and, like, taking their shit and, like calling him piggy nose he was was a bad dude that sounds like you're describing me (laughs) are you calling me tom hiddle riddleston (laughs) wow okay the truth's coming out guys (laughs) dana's voldemort with a nose that's why my liked harry potter so much because he was harry potter and i was voldemort (laughs) yeah so he goes to this orphanage 
starts terrorizing the kids and then oh, Dumbledore, like, he, Dumbledore he, finds him and and fucking gives him like a swirly and a little atomic wedgie and just creates more hate I don't remember that but maybe yeah Harry Potter yeah and that's that's Voldemort's origin story um and maybe in another episode we'll get into how he lost his nose. How did he? I can't tell you. Huh. Because I don't knows. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I'm just going to let that one be silent. Yeah. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. Maybe in another episode we'll actually cover Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is a good start. We covered Voldemort. Yeah. Which is like the premise of Harry. Or it's not the premise. It's the whole reason Harry Potter exists. Yeah. It is his origin story. Is Voldemort, yeah. which is the no nose man, Tom Hiddleston, as he said. <laughs> it's the no nose man that nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, and he who must no not be named, yeah. not be nosed. Not he be who nosed. must not be nosed. Nobody knows. <laughs> I think I think that's a good start to the Harry Potter uh, series. Yeah, we'll be covering a lot more in the Harry Potter universe. There's we'll just be, so much to cover. There's there's Professor Snape. There's McGonagall. Yeah, we haven't gotten into any of them. There's Dumbledore, and as um, there's some other professors in there. There's also Hermione. Yeah, but we'll save those for and another episode. Ronald Weasley. <laughs> I'm gonna cut Dane off. You cut off. No. So this has been an episode. By best worst case scenario BWCS um, I don't know if I already said this but I'm Mayan And I'm Ronald Weasley No you're not Who am I? Dana Remember uh, Harry Potter <laughs> <laughs> Yes I'm Dana Yeah and uh, thank you guys for Dana listening <laughs> Yeah thank you We appreciate it We really do And All uh, the time every time Every day I wake up every day when I brush my teeth and I say thank you. Thank you, listeners. He does. <laughs> I hear him say it through my other house. It's real weird. But, through uh, my <laughs> nearby house. <laughs> so, yeah, we will see you in the this next episode. Been, yeah, it's been a magical episode. It's been magic. When Guardian Folly follow us, sa. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Goodbye <laughs> to all. Cheerio. <laughs>